Today we have a very special guest that needs no introduction, Miss Francesca Pa. Hey, let's go. hey guys, uh, thank you guys for here? having me. Uh, thank you. Congratulations for winning outstanding dramatic actors oh, at you. the Bishop Festival. Thank yes, you guys. Let's, thank you. let's go. Come on, come on. That is so dope. So tell us a little bit about you. I'm Francesca Farr. I am a singer and actress. I was born in Manila, Philippines. And I moved here in LA around 2016. Mm -hmm. What's the major difference? Living there in the Philippines as an actress and then living here right now, what's the major difference that you've seen? First of all, traffic. <laughs> <laughs> traffic is very different, but um, all jokes aside, there's really a lot of um, things that I noticed, especially with the cannabis industry. Ah. So coming from the Philippines, everybody's always telling me that cannabis is super bad for you. Yeah. Uh, it's really illegal. It's a hard drug. So I had that mindset too when I was growing up. Very limited view on cannabis just because, you know, as I was growing up, everybody in my circle, my, my environment, everybody's telling me that, you know, this is bad. This is... This is not a plant. This is a drug, and it's bad. Yeah, yeah. And we were when like I being told that from all over, yes, church, school, yes, yes, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And I feel like it's also part of the culture, naren. So when I moved here in 2016, like you will see so much billboards, so much ads on cannabis dispensaries everywhere. As I was doing my research, and you know, with all the experience that I'm having here in LA, I realized that, hey, it's actually just a plant. And it's a plant with so much benefits, For sure. so much medicinal benefits, uh, industrial benefits. So being in America, and have you ever visited a dispensary mm -hmm. or anything like that? Yes, I actually have worked as a bud tender. Okay. In right. a yeah. dispensary. Yeah. Yes. So, um, you know, not a lot of people actually know that cannabis, weed, is legal in California. Uh -huh. It's it's decriminalized. Yep. It's recreationally legal. Yep. And for some Filipinos, that's like, pfft, yeah, mind exactly. blown. You know, it's like, yeah. really? You are actually able to apply legally to work in a legal dispensary. Yep. So you could actually get a legal job Income, in, tax, in California. Yep, everything and work in a cannabis dispensary. So, you know, being a Filipino, that was just really mind-blowing, mind-opening too. I just saw how many people are actually using it as an alternative medicine. Um, people come in and they use it, of course, medicinally and recreationally. It's a mix, you know, it, it, you get to meet a lot of people, all all kinds of people yes, from all walks of life different walks of life different ages yes different ages as long as you're over 21 and you yeah. have your id and you actually so show it to um the security guard they actually let you in yeah. or if you're 18 with a medicinal card yeah, medicinal yes, card. yeah. yeah. that is true <laughs> yeah so you know it's with all that experience it's already very different from what i have been used to in the philippines not a lot of people are talking about it because they they are in fear mm -hmm. that you know they will get imprisoned yeah. for talk, just talking about it. Yeah. And I also believe that if we don't talk about it, then the stigma will stay. It's pointless to keep facts and information all just for yourself. Right. Especially if you know that... It could help everybody. It could help the society right. in so much ways. So what's kind of like the behind the scenes of being a bud tender? Like, do you get any free merch? You actually get... So much free stuff as a bud tender, you have to try the stuff that you're selling. Of course, like if you're selling cookies, you, you wanna, have to know the yeah, quality of the yeah. stuff that you're selling exactly. to be able to actually explain to people how good, good the product what is. It, what, what it is yeah. and how good the product is. As a bud tender, I'm getting the input from customers what what they're usually looking for. Mm -hmm. And it's usually they, they will usually ask us. Um, what's best for like insomnia, what's best for like um, loss of appetite, mm -hmm. for nausea, stuff like that. You really have to educate yourself mm -hmm. on what kind of strain, indica and sativa and hybrids. You know, indica is usually what we recommend for people who, who want to um, feel super heavy and like Shit. that body yeah. high and super chill. Body pain, and I would always relaxer. tell my customers that, you know, if you're 
you're just trying out cannabis for the first time, I usually put in my mind that indica is usually in the couch. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's easier that way. Right. Yeah, another way, another way to remember this is indica babango. Indica babango. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna get up. You're not gonna get up. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's and cool. Yeah, sativa, I usually just explain to them that, well, some people, if they want to use it recreationally, they use it um, for creative stuff when they actually want to work on something. If yeah. they have creative, focus. Creative, yeah. yeah. Creative so usage. it really just depends on the patient. Yeah. How does it feel that it's still inaccessible in the Philippines right now to the patients that need it? Yeah. You know, it's also very frustrating to see that the Philippines still has that same mindset from five years ago. Of course, it's very frustrating because you see everybody here in LA, they're actually enjoying the benefits right. of the plant, reaping the benefits as a society. And we're actually using the revenue to fund stuff right. you know, yeah. for the people. Fun stuff. Right, exactly. exactly. So it, it goes back to the community. It goes back yeah. to the community. Weed money goes back to the yeah. community. Yeah, and so it's just, you know, in a in some level, it's frustrating, and I personally think that it's gotten very ridiculous now to the, at this point. Because for me, like the facts are there, all you gotta do is really accept the facts, right? Do your research on your own, and spread spread information, right? And here in California, honestly, it's not a big deal anymore because it's so normal it's so mainstream that you know people how do i say this it's um, normalized it's normalized it's normal. yeah, yeah it's, normalized. it's normalized and i guess in the philippines i feel like we gotta do some catching up guys no, exactly <laughs> exactly so yeah but yeah you, that's my general feeling so do you think that if cannabis was legalized in the philippines that the economy would do a little bit better definitely like you could see from my face like oh yeah oh. exactly like, right? yes yeah, like, like yeah. working having that experience working in a dispensary you know i was exposed to the amount of revenue that we could possibly she saw get. the money rolling in <laughs> and it's you know it's a lot of money and we definitely could use that to fund <laughs> so much stuff in the philippines like yeah. education mm -hmm. health. hospitals health yeah a lot of things that we need help in the philippines we could get the budget from the revenue that's from cannabis from cannabis from yeah. cannabis revenue yeah. and there's yeah, a lot of right. good there's a lot of good uh fertile soil out there yes. and they can start using farmers you yep. know what i mean they can start hiring farmers to grow this stuff for them <laughs> outdoor natural yeah you know? yeah like i know a lot of people in the philippines have been looking for have been looking for jobs especially um during the pandemic you know a lot of mm -hmm. people lost their jobs and if you see how it works here in LA, a lot of people have been getting jobs yep. by farming, by being in the storefront, in right. the dispensary, um, marketing Big stuff. Big opportunities there. There's really an untapped opportunity. Exactly. The main question is, like, if it was a little bit better there, would, would you have left? I was born and raised there. You know, it's my, it's my home. And as much as I don't want to leave the Philippines, there are things that really have to improve. A lot of people are really struggling in the Philippines because of the economic status in the Philippines. And I feel like if we could fix that, you know, maybe there's a, gonna be a better chance for Filipinos who are living abroad to still go back in the Philippines right. and actually enjoy the home country. It's sad, it's very sad, it's unfortunate. But, you know, as a Filipino, I still have hope that you know the philippines will catch up soon whatever people are doing here in la we quickly catch up you follow, yeah so. i feel like it's only a matter of time yeah. and it's a matter of people um speaking up because the more people who actually talk about it the more people are gonna get educated right and with the proper education again with the proper information people's minds are gonna open up to it mm -hmm. That's why I also feel like the Filipino Cannabis Guy channel is super, super helpful, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing information. Because I feel like even if I worked as a bud tender, I feel like I'm, I'm still learning so much about yes. the plant, mm -hmm. about its benefits, about its uses. 
and how it could you know benefit the society so thanks guys <laughs> yeah thank you very much miss francesca far for gracing us with your presence thank, thank you, very you much. so thank much you. pleasure meeting you and honestly it's really dope seeing like a different uh like perspective from a different person who lived and grew up in a different country so it was really dope appreciate thanks, that guys. Thanks do you have me. anything else to say last words to our viewers well guys please don't forget to watch the filipino cannabis guy i personally love watching their content just because you know i i get educated on a lot of stuff so thank you guys again and if you could follow me on instagram it's at far francesca f-a-r-r-f-r-e-n-c-h-e-s-k-a it would be really really awesome hope you learned something new today please like share and subscribe for more content about cannabis with filipino and american flavor stay high yo peace before i forget i would love to congratulate you for winning best <laughs> Standing dramatic after. Why do I keep saying best, bro? <laughs>